You're watching The Curse of Oak Island in a Rush, and we're recapping the Season 4 episode of Sticks and Stones. So what happened? While digging continues, Rick and Marty are standing around and touching the rounded timber retrieved from hole number 3. 118 feet down they find a small, wedge-shaped piece of wood. They touch it, smell it, and decide to show it to Dan. They want to keep digging, but lightning shuts them down. So they head to Dan's. He also smells it and determines it's smelly and old. They mention carbon dating, but when aren't they mentioning carbon dating? They can't go back to digging because it's still raining, even though it's clearly not raining. Instead, they bring in two stonemasons to examine the stones of Nolan's cross. They check the first stone, the one that has the face in the cutlass, or so the graphics tell us. But it's too worn and shows nothing. So they head to the stone at the bottom of the cross. The masons find, well, they're not sure. It's kind of smooth, maybe from being dragged, or maybe not. Who knows? War room time. The carbon dating is in. A timber from 102 feet down is dated around 1670. The rounded timber, around 1655. So they head back to the hammer grab. They find, just stone and clay. The next load finds, nothing. And then, more nothing. Then they hit something at the bottom and wonder if it's a metal plate. No, it's just bedrock. Helmets are thrown and kicked. Quiet contemplation time at the war room. They make a bunch of baseball analogies, and Rick wants to keep digging in the money pit. So Rick picks a fourth hole to be dug down toward a hidden debris field. Tears and hugs are everywhere. Tune in next time when the seventh to die on Oak Island is revealed to be the viewer's patience. And tune in next week for the season finale of The Curse of Oak Island in a Rush.